All right, this is Chris with MyCricketForum.com, back for part two of our Droid Incredible to Cricket flashing. Wow, my computer was going extremely slow. Let me try to recap what's going on um, in between the videos. Uh, I waited for the ROM to uh, set up, and then it took about five minutes for the first boot. And I selected my language and just got through all of that, and now I'm at the uh, home screen with everything stock for this ROM. First thing I'm going to want to do is go into phone pound pound three four two four pound call. It's going to bring up the DM command service menu. Now I've got device manager opened up here. If you didn't know how to reinstall drivers just do this. You see something with an exclamation mark like ADB. Click on it. Click update driver then browse and then let me pick a list of device drivers on my computer to show all devices have disk and then point to where that file is that you want to install or as a driver there's where our ADB is and the main reason I had uh, device manager opened up is because the port this is on now every time I install a new device it just assigns a new port I like to keep them all on one port if it's the same thing I'm only going to have one of it plugged in like all my uh, phones are on port 15 there now just to make sure it works unplug it plug it back in usually it doesn't work right after you change the port And we'll open up QPST because we already know the SPC is all zeros. I've already added this port for QPST. Uh, if you haven't added the port, go down to QPST. And the configuration. And you'll see all the ports under the port tab. And just click add new port. Find the port. You might have to click that. And then it'll pop up over here. So one of the important things, of course, is that you have the proper MIN and uh, MDN, MDN being the phone number. I'll just come over here and go to uh, Cricket CID real quick, because I actually don't know her MIN. If you guys have a problem obtaining your MIN from Cricket, just come to us and uh, we'll let you know uh, what it is. Let's see. It's not cool. It looks like Cricket's actually having a problem right now. Let's try once more. I was just on it earlier. Bam! Let me log in real quick. Don't want to see that. Don't be calling my peeps. Bam! Got the MIN now. You always gonna want to enter the well. You first hit read from phone. It's all zeros because it's Verizon. There's CDMA. Always enter the phone number in first because if you notice, it is actually uh, changing the MIN at the same time. MIN goes under the IMSI underscore S. Then we can go to the ROM tab. That was on the CDMA tab. So next is the ROM tab. Find the PRL that you want to use for it. Then go over to data. Actually, go to m.ip. So this could be her phone number. At mycricket.com. You see stuff that I don't mess with? Just don't mess with it. Or else you'll have to go to the forum and ask us for help. You can zero all these out. I think it actually works with 
255 also, but just do that just in case. Um, I think with the Incredibles, you can leave it uh, low plus simp, uh, simple fallback. Maybe one person mentioned they have a problem, so let's just go to simple IP only. Then we'll go to the PPP config. Don't worry about RM, go to UM. Phone number at mycricket.com. Tethered in AI, phone number at mycricket.com. Cricket, go ahead and hit that. Paste it in the AN tab right there. Can't paste it in there, don't worry about it. And Cricket, and then write to phone. We'll give you that little notice there and reboot the device. Don't worry about the NV write errors. Just click OK. Wow, it didn't reboot our phone. So what we're going to do is manually reboot this phone. Actually, uh, 3G is already up. It's actually it's actually not on this phone yet, so we can't make a call, but let's try this. Uh, since we're already rooted, we're going to use Green K45. This is a program that was developed by someone in our forum. Awesome program. With root access, it'll install all the uh, needed proxy files so you can be surfing on the $45 plan. Green for K, 45.abk. Just going to install it using ADB install in the file location. So, man, let's unplug this. Let's go to Green K45. Allow, give it super user permission. Little standard disclaimer. Let's hit install. Install. We're going to use domain instead of IP based. Just as always worked for me, so why change it? There's actually a reboot option built in this one. We'll just do a normal reboot. I love ROMs that have that option so you can boot directly into recovery really easily. Or we'll just reboot the device and not have to turn it off and turn it back on. I get so impatient that I usually turn the device off and never turn it back on. Right now I'm eating rice and bacos. Anyone ever eat rice and bacos? Just wondering. These things are great, bacos. Not just for salads. A little energy drink to watch it down. Now, like I said, the ESN is not on this account yet, so at best, we're going to get internet and MMS. Everything should work. The problem is, this person is on the $35 plan and they paid for the $5 internet, so it might actually not work right. They might have to go back and get the internet. Actually, U2NL, we got to allow that. Bam allowed. That was part of the Green K45 that reroutes everything. And it looks like our internet is working. Since this is a new ROM, it shouldn't have a cached, cached file of Google because it's never been online. Let's see. Hmm, knows we're in Round Rock. Let's search for some restaurants around here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, when you fully flash these devices, uh, GPS, everything should work too. So it's awesome. The cricket, you get cricket devices, Ryzen devices, sprint devices. See, it even knows where we are. Okay, and we're just going to assume that the MMS works. There's um, too many factors that are playing in right now because they're not on the $45 plan. But visit www.mycricketforum.com for the full write up.